Hello. In this video we are going to talk about system life cycle. And especially we are going to emphasize the front end, that is the very early part, and the back end, that is the late part of the life cycle. Well, system life cycle and project life cycle, they are a little bit different concepts. We could say that project and its life cycle is only a part of the system life cycle. So the interesting question is that where does the project start? Does it start from the investment uh, decision or much earlier? Now in this picture uh, we have used red color to uh, describe uh, the kind of a project life cycle and then we have uh, uh, provided an understanding of much earlier phases in the, in the very early uh, before the project or the uh, in investment uh, implementation has started and then uh, the uh, back end or the later uh, parts uh, of operations after the project has been completed. But it's still the life cycle of the same system in a way. So um, the front end refers to early phases either in the system life cycle or project life cycle however you like to interpret it, and uh, the back end uh, refers to late phases. And especially I would like you to think about the system life cycle when you are looking at the company videos, uh, the Neste video uh, where, for example, Petri Jokinen explains um, the uh, next BTL uh, renewable diesel plant projects. And my question for you to think is, uh, think about when does the project actually start? Petri Jokinen tells very uh, uh, extensively the business logic that uh, there has been and which has been implemented long before the investment decision has been made. And also when you look at OF Pöyrys uh, video and Jouni Honkala's story about uh, managing the project, so uh, I think that there is a really uh, strong uh, 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 reference to uh, this life cycle aspects, even more, many pictures that he shows uh, con contain the, the phases uh, in certain parts of the project. Okay, if we look at uh, the front end of a project, the very recent uh, research by Peter Morris includes this kind of a picture where he argues but, or with this picture he argues that uh, traditionally the project is seen as a kind of a delivery uh, based on given constraints of time, budget and scope. And then he adds uh, some activities uh, that happen before the project and this is what he calls front end. So there's project definition, there are strategic issues, technology, uh, design, commercial aspects, organizational aspects, how to organize the thing even before the project starts. Or if you like, you can extend the project uh, uh, to include these phases as well. So uh, the early phases, concept, feasibility, and, and these kinds of things belong to the front end and this front end connects the project to the business and uh, the general project environment. Then if we look at the back end, the operations phase of uh, the system life cycle, then we might have the strategic view of looking at uh, the long term operations after the project has been completed. And even in this picture, we have the kind of an investment calculation where there are uh, uh, benefits or revenue that is coming in after the project has been completed from, from the system uh, uh, that uh, represents the project's end product. And then there are costs uh, for maintenance, for support, uh, for operating uh, the system and uh, in the end uh, disposal revenue if we can sell the system to someone else or disposal cost if uh, it needs to be uh, scrapped in a way and uh, causes extra costs. 
Okay, uh, the interesting thing is that uh, uh, this operations phase is maybe the actual reason why the project was ever started, at least from the point of view of the owner or customer. And uh, my question to you is that where to put focus in the front end or back end of the system lifecycle or both? Maybe an intuitive uh, answer to this question would be that, of course, we must put focus on both. But we must also be careful when putting uh, the load to the front end so that we do not try to create too much certainty uh, based on assumptions that uh, might change uh, in, uh, during the project. Uh, and, and if we kind of have the uh, misjudgment that now there is no risk, now there is no uncertainty regarding uh, the operations of the system after the completion of the project, when we have put so much effort on designing uh, the project's end product so accurately. So I think that that is really an erroneous uh, thinking and we must still be ready to all the time have our eyes in uh, the operations phase and we must be still ready to change the plans. The great plans where we have put a lot of uh, emphasis and a lot of resources uh, by starting the project by front, uh, having the front end loading. Okay, think about this and uh, remember when you look at Neste and OF Pöyrys videos, so keep this system lifecycle and these aspects in mind. Hey, it was nice that you were uh, with me in this video. Uh, let's come back uh, in other videos and also looking forward to talking to you in the class. Bye now. Bye.